Hey guys, it's your boy Anthony, and I'm here today to show you guys how to solve the problem with your 24 frames. So, starting off, I would like to give a shout out to this individual right here, which name is kind of, you know, not easy to pronounce if I don't go into translator. She's the one that provides the file so you guys can go way beyond 24 frames. You understand? Make sure you give her a like and subscribe. She speaks Spanish, so watching her video was kind of hard, you know, because it was like 480p. That was the quality. Moving on, I would have never gotten this video if it wasn't from a home girl here, Fishiko. You understand? She's the one that's in the Discord, in my Discord. She, she shot me up and let me know that this video here will help us get beyond 24 frames although i already have beyond 24 frames this video is to help you guys she's in the discord so if you're in the discord and you meet her give her a like you understand she's the one that guide me to this video and i'm just translating over because i don't speak spanish okay then so moving on all right, so the links will be in the description. This here will be the link, will be more frames that you name of the link, you name of the file, the zip file, the raw file you'll be getting, when raw file you begin, make sure you open it and extract the file. Win raw, if you don't have it, download it. I know a lot of you asking, why I can't open the file, get win raw. You understand? Or use some zip file opener or something like that. As you can see, I am going into documents. This is part you'll be putting the file. Now to get we you know to go beyond 24 frames. So document and then you go into C C less. Uh, I think it's C L S C or something. So you go into that and then you go down to Clip Studio 1.50. Well version 1.50. You understand? Know, you go into that and then you go into preferences. I'll zoom up here preferences you open that folder and then you copy this and then you paste it inside of here replacing that one and after you're done doing that when you're done to make sure you do that then eh? I'm going to show you guys again you understand documents then you go into CLS Make sure you click documents, seal us, 1.5, preference, copy, right click, copy, and right click, paste. Make sure you do that. I'll show you twice, eh? Alright, now open in Clip Studio now. You want to go into file. See here, file. When you click file, open, new, animation. And within the animation here, you could go down to the settings here, which will be 30 frames per second, 120, that the frame rate you'll be going at. You press OK. You understand? If you want to go beyond 30 frames, you can just click that little drop down bar and go to 60. Then you press OK. Now, if you'll be going on 30 frames or 60, whatever. Right? So, as you can see down here, this is a timeline. You understand and you could see here i could i already 119 frames deep in this this you guys will be able to see when you don't change the file right and see i'm using my shortcut here to go back and forth through frames and this is what i have could reach right now i could even go way beyond that you understand if you guys want to check check out more about how to you know deal with that come here and you guys could make an X layer or say an X timeline with whatever settings here. You wanna go more more frames or whatever. Press OK. You come out of that. Now I'm going back onto the frames now. I'm going back onto the timeline now to show you guys a different thing now. As you can see here, I start with that. 
and I could hold that blue thing there and stretch it out you understand and see that how you see that the white disappeared I don't want that to happen so what I could do is just click onto the little thing there and stretch it out I don't want to I want to be able to see this white thing so I'm going to click on those little things down there like you have like a little bar a little square thing now you click on that yes put the rest on that and drag it or oh, right hold your left click you're not right left clicking but you're actually like dragging it out so you could stretch out I uh, hope I don't have to show you guys how to use a mouse too but anyway you're doing that you can do that to the top one and the bottom the bottom one is the white paper and the top one is the black we want to do that white paper to continue going so you could do that now as you can see i going back and forth through my frames and that's that so if you guys have reached this far into the video please like subscribe and follow for more you understand i hope this video really helped you guys i hope too and the file is there in the description so please download the file and follow the video to suit please don't skip over anything in the video you understand so leaders for now you guys rock be safe